whatever you've experienced so far that hasn't seemed like it's been going well for you or in the right direction won't be what success looks like in your future. I'm saying this because although it might seem at the moment that life is currently meaningless, uh, it might seem that life is something that isn't going well for you, it might seem like it's hopeless at this point. The ultimate determinant of your success is really your discipline and really your ability to withstand the failure and withstand hardships and think of new outcomes, understand why you failed at that moment, understand how to overcome that obstacle and rewire your brain to think of it as a necessary action or necessary course within your path and within your future and and a means to a goal thinking about it this way i feel like it's it's important because a lot of people get unmotivated by um and disappointed by things when they don't go the way that they think it should go whether or not that be in sports or whether that be in your business schoolwork or even work in general i know a lot of people at work they got a lot of projects and deadlines that they got to meet but when those things don't come out the way that they think it should come out it's it's very disappointing and it really takes a toll on your mind and how you think of yourself but we got to understand that we're also human beings we make mistakes and we also have to figure out how to learn from these mistakes and learn from these obstacles to become a better person become somebody more knowledgeable and wise about decisions about about our feelings i don't think hardships really lead because you feel like things aren't going your way you're having the hardest time of your life or you got divorced or you got into a breakup things like these i mean these are natural occurrences within our lives and and within nature that we can't really help and the only thing we can help is how our mind reacts to that kind of information and, and that kind of a obstacle within our way but without discipline and without a positive way of thinking around a an issue we can't seem to grow if we don't understand how to cope and and find outlets and figure out how to get out of that kind of stage and mentality then there's no means for growth we're stuck at that position and that's not really where I don't think we want to be so finding discipline within my life is is something that really encouraged me to keep going and encouraged me to live a healthier happier and and more understanding life Um, I, 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 I see discipline within my life in the gym and me consistently going every five days a week because that's the routine that I've come up with for myself that that works best for me and I don't take it off like I I won't make excuses or try to call the day off because I know that this it's necessary if I want to see the results I want to see if I want to clear my head that's my my outlets that I go to to cope and and reflect on what's been going on within my life and so when I take those days off it just clouds my mind with with these negative thoughts and and it's not really helpful for me and I know that so when I have the discipline to go to the gym and and be consistent with it it really it really aids in my self-progress and I think that a lot of people could really take advantage of discipline and and I know it's hard I know discipline is something that I heard there's a study that it takes around like like a couple months for a habit to become actualized and a part of your daily routine so just implementing it day by day i think really helped me gain that discipline for the gym and and becoming stronger stuff like that so i i really think i really think discipline is a really good um, way for you to grow spiritually mentally and and physically as well my main focus for today was don't let your actions and your failures and your challenges that you're going through right now deter you from meeting your goal and don't let it adjust 
how you're feeling. Don't let it take over. Win with your mentality. Win with a discipline that can help you gain an edge over your obstacles. Don't let your issues become so big that your dreams and your ambitions become nothing but dust because you're letting those issues get a hold of you. But that's really where I'm at today. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, hopefully you guys took that message and implement discipline within your life and, and taking those little steps. I mean, it's really hard to, I guess, implement it really quickly. And and we have those like little outbursts of, um, of excitement to try to be disciplined within our lives. Because I mean, if you decided to eat whole foods for the rest of your year, and then you have that first like little couple days of motivation to keep going on your path and your and your goal of not eating junk food and stuff like that but after a while it'll it'll deteriorate into you're starting to eat junk foods on like the weekends and then it becomes your day-to-day habits again so i feel like really try to slowly but surely implement it and get to understand yourself and get to understand your limits uh where you stand and how fast you need to go to ultimately maintaining that discipline for the rest of your life that will lead to your own success and your self-growth and it will help you in mastering your own mind so yeah uh, thank you guys for watching and daniel out from my eyes fitness peace out